Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing the mean of a group data set. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Mean, as previously defined, is the average and it is symbolized by x bar for sample and the Greek letter mu for population. It is also labeled as the most reliable measure of central tendency because it considers all the data in the data set. So if we are given with a group data or recall that a group data is a data arranged in a frequency distribution table, to compute for its mean, we will use this formula summation of f times x over n, where that summation of f times x is the sum of the product of the class mark and the frequency of all classes, meaning we will take each of the class mark, multiply it to the frequency, and then get the product. Afterwards, get the sum of all the products. Later, we will do that in our example. And of course, n, it still stands for the number of data involved. So to better understand, let's have this example. Suppose we are given with this frequency distribution table and we are tasked to find the mean. Again, for the mean, we need to get the product of the frequency and the class mark, meaning this column and this column as well. We will multiply each of the numbers here, 5 times 19, and then write the product here. We will do that for all classes, and then afterwards, we will take the sum of this column. So starting off with 5 and 19, 5 times 19, we will have 95. Next, for 7 times 30, we will have 210. For 8 and 41, multiplying them, we will have 328. Next, for 6 and 52, multiplying them, we will have a product of 312. Next, 63 and 3, multiplying them, we have 189. And finally, we have 1 times 74 is 74. Afterwards, we add all the entries in this column, which will give us a sum of 1,208. Let's just write it more neatly. Afterwards, we take the summation of fx, this one, the sum of the added column, and n, of course, is 30, the sum of the frequency. We will just substitute these values to our formula for the mean of group data. So we have 1,208 divided by 30, which will give us a quotient of 40.266 and so on. But we have to round it off to the nearest hundreds, meaning our mean is 40.27. And looking at this value, 40.27, it belongs to the to this class, to the third class, 36 to 46. Meaning this class, 36 to 46, it contains the mean of this data set. So that's it on how we are going to compute the mean for group data. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.